something totally different and became this sort of character piece uh, centered on like, you know, a human and a demon and their their strange interpersonal drama. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it, it, it really just kind of took on a life of its own as I was writing it. I, did, I, I didn't, I definitely didn't come up with the idea intending for it to be what it was, but I'm happy with what, with what it turned into. Wow. So Lee, how did you and Joe start collaborating on doing, uh, doing this movie? Um, you want to answer that? Yeah, well, basically, um, Lee wrote the movie and he asked me to take a look at it. And, you know, what do you think of it? And I was very proud to read something that he had written because, you know, it's not, um, usual for Lee to kind of write something and put himself out there, right? He's, mm -hmm. I guess anyone's that way. You kind of put something out there and you don't really want to hear any critics. But I read the script and I thought it was really doable. I said, this is something that can probably be made into a film. So um, he's, you know, he said, you, you think we can do it? I said, well, I'll reach around to some friends and see if we can pull up the money to try and get the movie made. And that's what happened. We just reached out to family members, uh, reached out to friends of mine just to try and see if we can just scrape, scrape together as much money as we could, you know, to help Lee uh, put forth the movie. And, and, and that's what happened. Um, once we knew we had money to make the film and it's extremely low budget compared to, you know, what you see out there in, in compared to anything world. low budget. <laughs> What's that? It's, it's low budget compared to anything. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> low it's low budget, <laughs> uh, ultra low budget, micro budget. Um, but the point was that um, once he knew that the funding was there, he started you know moving ahead with uh, you know connecting with his friends and uh, reaching out to friends of friends to try and put together this film, and and that's how it started. And it it's been uh, it's been in the making since 2016, Lee. 2016. I wrote it in 2015. I wrote it in 2015. 2016 is when we actually started the ball rolling with the proof of concept. And then the film was actually made in 2017. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, by the time you go through the editing and get all the, the, the film up and running, then you got to try and get a distribution deal. And then uh, we thought we might have something, but then, you know, pandemic hits and everything slows down. Like, all right, maybe something good will come of this. And we got really lucky because the one group that uh, really uh, shepherded this movie was Terra Films. And they've been great uh, to really yeah. trying to get the name of the movie out. In fact, a half hour ago, we were just on a, a premiere of the film on Kings of, uh, Kings of Horror on YouTube. And yeah, it, it went really well. well. Wow. Yeah, it was streaming on YouTube. And I was, me and some of my actors were in the chat with everybody. It was cool. It was a really good time. Congratulations. That's really Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Really Thanks. Cool. You know, so my, my thing is with you guys uh, being related, it, it's how does it feel working with someone that's that's very supportive, that's a family member? You know, that's really cool to me. It's oh, that's it's very it's a weird feeling because on one hand, it's super great to have the like to, to know that it's first of all that i'm supported enough to to fund something that i was trying to make that's really cool and i mm -hmm. will never um not be grateful for that uh but also i mean like it, there you know there's the there, there's a, there's a, there's a comfort in knowing that i have full creative control that's really really nice mm -hmm. love that but also you know there's the downside where it, it, it it's very easy for me to invalidate a lot of things about the film to myself because I I I'm like oh well you know you're you just got really you're just fortunate enough to have like family members who threw money at it which like it, I don't know there's something in there's something like weirdly kind of like like in a like outside of myself perspective like invalidating about like oh you funded this through like your family it's just like it's a it's a very it's a big privilege point that I'm like I I'm both uncomfortable with and grateful for it's bizarre. Right. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling. I, I could imagine. But yeah. I mean, the, the good thing is you're supported and, and that goes a long, long way these days, you know, it really yeah. does. And, there, and there's, uh, you know, there's a piece of me when I first looked at the script saying, you know, am, am I kind of forcing myself to like this? I think it's really, really good, but am I only doing it because we have a blood relationship? And, and it, I, I, I was able to put myself aside for that, look at the script a second time and say, this, it's really good. It's a character driven film and it's got a lot of humor in it. And you know, it, it, you know, people look at this and think it's, uh, oh, it's just like some straight bloody horror movie. That, that's not at all. It's just, and Lee had said in some previous discussions about, you know, 
sought to write comedy, but he felt right in his element writing this horror comedy because he understands all the tropes and all the things to get around. And the characters just have some really, really fun and uh, fun one-liners. And just to hear or watch the people react on the, the, pr the presentation a little while ago where someone says a joke and people are typing and chatting away and just laughing and all these <laughs> emojis and you're like, they got it. So that, that, that's yeah. a lot of fun. No, it, it's really cool. And I mean, like I said, it, it, it is a very, very, very awesome opportunity to have in any capacity. I, I'm incredibly grateful. But yeah, it, it, it's surreal, I think is the best word for it. It's mm -hmm. just very surreal to like, no, like, first of all, know that people support me to that level, but also that like, I don't know. I'm not, I, 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 if I talk again, it's just going to be basically the same thing I just said. <laughs> <laughs> So what was the casting like? How did you get the, the different people for the role? Did you actually go out and handpick or did you have someone doing the casting for you? Um, no, I, I personally love um, doing my own casting. I think it's really important for me because uh, I'm very, 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 very picky when it comes to like looks for the roles and like you know, how I want people to perform. Um, the casting process was very, it was long and it was fun, but it was also like really stressful. Um, there's, because I mean, so we, the way we shot this film, we originally shot it as a proof of concept. We boiled the script down to like six pages that just kind of got across the core concept. And then, um, we shot it back in 2016 with, um, three actors, um, two of whom we brought back for the feature because we, we, we loved how they were, how, how well they performed that. And those actors were uh, Michael Finnegan who plays Brad and Savannah Witten who plays Lilith. And Savannah, I mean, I've I've braved up and down about her throughout this whole press junket. I mean, it it's there is no person who auditioned for that role who understood it the way she did. There's no like she is truly she she got it on a level that nobody else did. And I've I've said it a million times at this point. There is no Lilith without Savannah. Right. Right. Well, that's good. I mean, it looks like, from, at least from the trailer, it looks like everyone is a good fit for the, their roles. And so you can see the chemistry, um, just the, the actors, came, you know, just kind of what I want to say, want to gel together pretty much. It seemed like they, they really did gel together. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'll sing my cast's praises to, to, you know, till the end of the freaking world. Um, but they're, they're, they're so talented. Every single one of them is so talented and they're so good. And they all, I mean, they all brought exactly what I needed them to bring, but also there, I was fortunate enough to, to get several people who had either like knew each other pretty well at that point or had worked mm -hmm. with each other previously and knew each other through, or knew each other through school. So there was a lot of really natural chemistry on that end. I mean, like Fish Nell and Taylor who play uh, Jenna and Charlie respectively, like the two of them, they went to school together and they have, electric chemistry to the point where it is it is like they 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 will go on they'll go off book and like i'll let them go off book just because i know it's going to be hilarious when they do right they have such a good comedic banter together and it's really funny to watch and i just i i there are several times that i let them do that and a couple of them made it into the movie because i was like this is too good to not keep <laughs> And Cammy, what was interesting, you talk about the casting. Um, the movie was shot over 34 days in a row. I think there's one day off. Um, but I, I only got to be on the set maybe, I don't know, a dozen days here and there. Because mostly I was like running people to the train station or picking them up or bringing food for the for the for the for the team <laughs> to eat. Yeah, I was doing I was, I was doing the, I was the production assistant as well. So um, but anyway, um, you'd sit there and watch these young kids, just amazing talent, go through a scene, one or two, three takes, and you say, wow, that looks really good. But then to come back and look at the dailies and see that there's something there, and it's clearly not quite finished because you're only looking at whatever scenes were shot for the day. Mm -hmm. But when we saw the very first rough cut, which was, again, months later, you know, just to kind of assemble something together, see you know, what Lee wanted and, and what he liked, to see the performances that came out of that, group is just stunning and it just it amazes me because there has to be so much talent out there that is untouched and untapped and you know we talked before about you know how do you go about making these movies it's easier today than ever before to make a movie some people are shooting movies on an iphone mm -hmm. all you got to do is reach out to friends of friends of friends and you'll find out that someone knows someone who knows someone who wants mm -hmm. to do this and do it for very little money because they believe in the concept and before you know it 
you've got something and, and you know, you hope you can catch fire with it. So, but I'm just amazed at the talent behind the camera and in front of the camera, just stunning, stunning group of people. So the movie's going to be premiering, or uh, has it already started premiering or? Yeah, today, today it dropped. Uh, today, on, yeah, I knew it was close. Yeah, all VOD <laughs> platforms, it dropped today. And then um, Kings of Horror just premiered it on their YouTube channel a couple hours ago. And it, it you know, we had 200 something people watching live with us, which was really cool. Good. That's real good. Yeah, it's on. It's it, it premiered on Amazon Prime today. It's on Tubi, Tubi TV, which is free. Um, it's on Kings of Horror, which is free, and it's supposed to also be a premiere on Google Google Play. And then mm -hmm. over the next few months, it'll it'll expand to different platforms. And certainly, I'm sure we'll see it really expand as we get closer to Halloween. So <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm I'm really. Yes. I've said before, it's a good Halloween movie and it's a good Valentine's Day movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good Valentine's Day movie, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Make that wish and what are you going to get here? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, what's in the future for you guys? Oh, funny you ask that. Um, so we're actually rolling into, I mean, well, I say we, I mean me and my, my crew, a lot of my crew from Lilith is coming back for it. Um, tomorrow morning we are rolling into production on a short film I wrote. Um, called Diviner. We funded it on Kickstarter. It made almost double what we were asking for, which actually was really fantastic. Um, so we were able to really, we were really able to plan this down to the letter and get everything we needed for it. We're shooting that tomorrow and Sunday, so expect that uh, soon-ish. Um, I'm really excited. It's it's, it's going to be great to be back on a set. I haven't been on a set since 2017, and I'm I'm ready to be back in the thick of it. And, and what about you, Joe? Uh, biting my fingernails and crossing my fingers that we make Lilith's money back. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will. You will. Yeah. You really no, I'm very will. excited. I, I have faith. I, for me, I was just happy they gave a platform for Lee and, and again, the cast and crew to get their names out there. I'm, I really, really hope this does something really special. I, for, for me, it does. It's a special movie. It means a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's, you know, it just clips along. It's, you know, 94 minutes and or 93 minutes and it's just, it just goes... I love it, but you know, and I'm partial. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> judging on some, judging on some of the judging on some of the folks who who have seen the movie before, um, you know, I, th I think we've got something here. So. Well, look, I mean, people have now seen it, and, they, and the reception has been decent so far. So I, I can't I can't invalidate the compliments of total strangers because they don't know me. I yeah. can't be like, oh, you're being nice because you're my friend there's nothing there so i'm like oh i can't invalidate that that's really weird is this movie actually good did we do something right <laughs> yeah when people when people type in this is a 10 out of a 10 or now that it's over i'm gonna go back and start it again or i can't wait to watch it again or i'm doing it too it, that's exciting so we just hope people tell if you like it tell friends and family and so on if you don't like it tell them anyway what do you got to lose yeah and i mean i've been saying this i just want this movie to get like enough exposure that I can viably go to somebody and be like, give me money to, for, to give me money to make a sequel. Right. Exactly. I have exactly. more story to tell and I want to tell it. Right. Right. And this, you know what, and you're doing the right thing. You guys are going in the right direction because uh, I'm, I used to do um, a podcast show. Uh, well, it wasn't podcast. It was, uh, well, yeah, it was a block talk radio 10 years mm -hmm. ago. And so someone said to me, Cami, you know, we miss your show. We miss your show. I have moved from Dallas to New Orleans, from New Orleans to Kansas City. Now I'm here in Virginia. And all of a sudden, somebody just convinced me to start the show again. Well, my show is just doing what we're doing now, helping and getting the word out, helping get businesses out, help getting small nonprofits out. So we, like I said, I did about 5K on Facebook. We have all these social medias and then his friends, knowing a friend. Hey, before you know it, you, you've got all the likes and all the comments that you ever would need to make that money so lee look up you you got it you guys are moving in the right direction and i'm very proud of you i'm very thank proud you so of you. much i really oh, I appreciate, appreciate that, that Kenny. So, thank yeah. you that means a lot so now let's go to our nuggets so what type of wisdom can you give someone that's trying to do what you're doing <clears throat> lee? i i both love and hate this question because i truly don't know the answer um i i mean like look I can't speak to like, here's how you do this because my situation was very abnormal. I was just very lucky. I was very lucky. That's exactly what it comes down to. Um, what I can say is like, 
if you're into this sort of thing, if you're into film, if you're into, if, if, if you're, if you're just like a, if you're super like passionate, if you're a nerd about anything, like don't, can I curse? Yes. <laughs> don't hide that shit. Don't hide it. It's like, you will form connections that you never would realize uh, it, you would if you don't talk about that. Like, like, if you talk about the things you're passionate about, you will find people who are also passionate about that thing. Mm -hmm. And if that thing is film, in this case, you, you, you really just need to put yourself in, in environments where you can talk about your stuff mm -hmm. and people can talk to you about their stuff. And that's, I mean, that's, look, that's how you make really good connections. I mean, that's how I've kind of made the connections that I've needed to make to get where I am was just, you know, just kind of by putting myself in situations where, where I actually, you know, could speak to people mm -hmm. and, and talk to them and kind of be my nerdy ass self at people aggressively and have them respond in kind which is very cool yeah yeah um yeah i mean that's kind of the biggest advice i can give is kind of just like really don't don't be like ashamed to put yourself out there and like put yourself in those environments where you can meet the right people that you can right right put together a team with absolutely what about you joe yeah, to, to kind of piggyback on something Lee said about this being a special environment for him, uh, situation, right? Because he did have uh, me with my connections I've had over my 50 years or so of friendship who were willing to put money into this program. But he was already with a number of these folks for years, probably a decade now, just people reaching out and, and doing what he does. As he said, not being ashamed to be his, ner his nerdy ass self. <laughs> um, but so it wasn't like he got the money for the film and then went to go look for people. He already had that network in place. So, so to echo what Lee said, if you are passionate about something, find those other people that are passionate uh, along with you. Now I'll say this, when I was a kid, if I was passionate and, and was outgoing about the things that I was passionate about, I probably got my face beat in, but things are so much different now. People are so much more accepting now. And mm -hmm. for anyone to just be passionate about anything if you talk about it out loud you're going to find that you know you're connected to someone who is also has that same passion um you know for me the biggest things from a producing perspective was um short of just trying to rein the team in every once in a while just slightly saying well we we need that money for this to do after the fact or i don't know what's going to happen after production i'm not the creative guy I just sat in the back and you just let the people who are the talent and the the, the creators do what they're going to do because they understand the product. They're a lot more closer to it. They know what they want to do. And I, I never walked in and said, why are you doing that? Change this, do that. It's none of my business. It's just, you said we're going to do this. Here's the money. And I just got to make sure we have it to, the, to get to the end of the, to the, end of, uh, of the film. So, and that's where we are today. So that's good. So Lee, would you do, would you, put, would you direct uh, someone else's work or are you just going to continue I, with your own right now? I, I mean, I'm unsure kind of, I, if somebody sent me a script and it was really, really good and I, I, I would, and I, and I could like get a vision of it in my head. Yeah. I'd be down. I just, I, I'm, I, I have so many ideas as it stands of my own that I, I want to make sure I, I can tackle as many of them as I can. Um, but in order to do that, I need, you know, people to back me financially and I don't want to keep asking my father to do that. <laughs> right, yeah, you, right. Your father can't. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> I got a home equity loan to pay back. <laughs> well, help I my mean, father pay back his home equity loan. Watch, watch Lilith. Lilith. I'm watch Lilith. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, you know, and the cool thing is, eventually, you're gonna, guys, we're gonna look back on this, and you're gonna go, "Wow, look at us now," you know, because I have met people, uh, different celebrities that started off, um, you know, going back to the day, I'm dating myself now. Don't judge Lee, but uh, <laughs> they but back to Dr. Dre days, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I met them a long time ago. If you look at um, uh, his that the last movie that they made, I was the person at the in Dallas at the skating rink when they just started, you know. So just to see people like that and growing up with the radio station and doing different things, you get to meet these celebrities as they start off at the bottom and make their way all the way up to the top. 
And so it's it's amazing. And now I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to meet a great movie guy like you. And, uh, and and be able to say that, hey, I knew Lee Wynn, you know, uh, when he just started out. And, and, you know, it's really cool. It's really cool to see people grow. I mean, look, I've said it before, and I mean, I, I'll, I, I, I repeat this often. Like, I don't aspire to celebrity. I don't really want that. I literally, what I want from this, I just want to keep making enough money and quote unquote exposure to continue making the things I want to make. That's all. And that's good. That's humble. That's really mm-hmm. good. That's really good. So, well, you guys, uh, I appreciate you being on the show. Uh, Thank you so much for having us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anytime. If you ever need to talk about whatever project you're working on, you guys know how to reach me now. Awesome. Thank uh, you so much. I'm happy to be there for you because that's what uh, SKST Radio is all about. It's about giving back to the community and us all growing together and unifying uh, everything in life right about now. So. Well, maybe I'll be back soon to talk about the Diviner. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, just let me know. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Cammy. It was you, great meeting you. Yeah, so welcome. nice to meet you. Thank well, you for having us. And please go to our um, YouTube and like and subscribe well and share because we're trying to build our YouTube so we can get interviews like this out in the public. Um, so like I said, I've been Facebook forever. And now all of a sudden I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> well, we'll certainly do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Time's a change. Oh, you're welcome. (laughs) And to next week, everyone, uh, we'll see you right here on skstradio.com. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, you all. Have a nice weekend. You too.